yeah, like, like I said, like this is sort of my club and it would always be my club and um, so I, no, I'm not playing, I'm just a fan, a fan now which I'm looking forward to as well, you know, just being a fan and just coming and enjoying the games with the, the fans that have supported me through my whole career and obviously in my hardest moments um, supported me as well so I'm just looking forward to sort of being a fan with them and just enjoying the games. Coming forward, looking for an equaliser. Doug Loft's header hits the post. Oh, pressing forward. That's another good save by Akemi this time. Oh, chance here for Ibire. Good save again, Akemi. Dip back, Gorbett. Sears. And the referee gives a penalty. And a chance for Colchester to get one back here with Freddie Sears. Oh, save by Akemi. Wolves keep their goal intact. Cross line. It's heading on here. It's a chance for Wells. What a save. Wells again. Stoke would have equalised but for the Herculean efforts of Nigerian goalkeeper Carly Kami. First denying Arnautovic and it didn't stop there. Another glorious chance fell to Crouch. Another phenomenal save from Ikemi kept Paul Lambert's side in front. Not even the informed Joe Allen could find a way past Ikemi. His fizzing strike looked destined for the back of the net but Ikemi pulled out the acrobatics with Wolves closing in on a famous upset. And after enduring the onslaught, Wolves got their reward. Gary Doherty's fourth of the season was perhaps his finest. It knocked the Potters out at this stage for the first time since 2009, gave Wolves their first win in the competition since 2011, and sent the travelling faithful home in full voice. Round four awaits the Wolves. Fabregas. Now Willian. Ikemi has juggled the ball to safety. Brilliant run by William to get in between Cody and Bath. Like I said, this is sort of my club and it's kind of been my like adopted city as well.